G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with uh, another Final Fantasy 15 video. This time we're going to be checking out uh, Final Fantasy 15. We're going to be checking out the timed quest for this week, which I believe is the Rush Contest Round 14 with the Reaper King and the Killer Wasp. Reaper King sounds like a uh, a variation of weed or something, but anyway. Um, also, patch 1.17 and 1.18 uh, dropped, I think, last night, actually. So we'll have a look at the update history. Uh, they pretty much dropped at the same time. This is common when one just contains bug fixes and the other contains kind of uh, content or some form of update. So 1.17 has addition of compatibility with multiplayer expansion Comrades. Comrades will actually be coming out on the 15th of November, which is on um, Wednesday here in Australia. But I think it'll be coming out on the, um, well, you'll probably be able to download it on probably the 14th, uh, I would imagine. And then servers go live on the 15th. I think it is the 15th for the, uh, the Japanese time zone. So I would imagine the Americans could play on the 14th, but... Who knows when it's going to fall, actually. Also, the big thing, and I've been waiting for this, actually. I haven't done the hunts much at all because I find it so frustrating. You can only pick up one hunt at once. But implementation of increased hunt capacity. I believe you can pick up 10 hunts at once. At once? At once. So I will actually now get the hunter's rank up. I've never got max hunter's rank because I find it so crappy that you have to pick up one quest go do it come back go do it 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 just frustrates the crap out of me so hopefully now this will make it a lot easier uh various bug fixes i don't really know what they've uh changed or fixed or whatnot and then 1.18 various bug fixes again i think people have reported various problems with uh graphics and things like that because of these updates so hopefully we get none of those bugs but we'll see anyway uh, Simpile, uh, go to trophy list. There is from comrades. Ooh, okay. Well, I'll just start off by saying hello to everybody in the chat. Joe Clark, uh, Raza, Steve, hello. Uh, Sean Keating, Cripple, hello, Mistol. Uh, Dark Cloud, Dario, hello. Uh, Stephen Noble, uh, who else we got? Rhea Roberts, hello. Plan C, Simpile, hello. Um, yeah. Hello guys, uh, Moogles, hello. So apparently there's new trophies added. So I will say if you don't want to be spoiled, maybe look away for about a minute or two around about. Um, yeah, ooh, overview, 87% of trophies. So they're gonna add a, a couple more at least. Um, yeah, my uh, the update, I still haven't got that 10 hit combo chain things. I never see them. I hardly ever get that combo thing. Like the summons, it was a little bit badly implemented, I think. Anyway, multiplayer expansion comrades. We got Beacon of Hope, powered up all facilities in Lestalem. So we've seen that uh, a big focus of the multiplayer expansion will actually be us restoring the power to EOS. And I guess as we do that, we'll restore power to different parts of uh, Lestalem. Received a Royal Sigil. The Royal Sigils are used as they kind of determine your build, I think, or your stats. Uh, crafted a weapon of level 30 or higher. We've seen that Sid has a big-ass laser cutter in the city of Lestalem, and uh, he can upgrade weapons and level weapons and create weapons, so that's a pretty good one. Come back, Kenny! <laughs> Meet the owner of the Crow's Nest Diner. So Kenny Crow will be in it again. Hidden trophy. Okay, here's where the spoilers will come into it, I'm guessing. So, Royal Retinue Rumble. Uh, bested the Chosen King's Companion. I don't know whether this is going to be part of the story. Maybe these guys, um, like uh, Prompto, uh, Gladiolus, and Ignis, are actually going to be protecting the crystal with uh, Noctis inside it, and maybe we have to beat them to get access to the crystal and wake up Noctis or something. I don't know. Um, or maybe it's like a jewel, a jewel type situation. Like we can do training at the camp currently. We'll have to see. Cleaving a path. Witness the awakening of King Noctis. Uh, 
if you don't know, and I've already warned you out spoilers, spoilers, in chapter 13, um, Noctis goes into the crystal and sleeps for 10 years. So I guess this is going to span across those 10 years. We're going to actually see the awakening of King Noctis. Let there be light, a mass and output of 9,999 kilowatts so we've we know that the uh units of power that we're going to be using to restore power to eos is going to be kilowatts so i guess they've got the long game in mind and that's it okay that's a good little insight into the uh into the patch i might maybe do a separate video on just the uh trophies but we'll see how it goes anyway um yeah it's good that we've got a little bit of insight now we know that the uh it is coming. It won't be delayed again. I'm I'm almost certain of that. Anyway, um, on to the current content. Uh, so we're gonna do we're gonna do we're first gonna have a look at the rush contest round fourteen, and then I might take a look at the uh, the hunts a little bit. We'll see what happens. This week, rush contest round fourteen, Reaper King Killer Wasps. My my tongue is not working today. Um, and it's now down near the Koshery Plains, I think it is. Uh, we'll check if there's any new, um, prizes. I'm shocked. There's no new prizes. I have 3,000 QP just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, any on these? No. Nothing new in there as well. Oh well, not too bad. Um, I better spend these actually, otherwise they get wasted for the last, um, hunt so i might spend those um but i don't really need anything do i uh i might just go do i have enough yeah i'll just buy ap i don't want to farm ap so i'll just buy it anyway so yeah um <clears throat> otherwise i'm pretty proud of my ranking last week i got one two three four as my ranking so i'm gonna roll with that it's not 9999 but it'll do as far as my gear goes, I'm just, I'm village people in it today, so I'm not really too concerned about my gear. Um, Magitek suits, tech turbocharger to start, and then I'll switch out to Armiga. Uh, as well, crossblades and strength boosting thingies. Um, Gladiolus, Magitek suits, nothing really special about him. Ignis, enhancement, as always, fantastic. And uh, I think I'm going to be using Gravisphere here because these are little wasps and annoying things. So I will also put the Ring of Resistance on him. And that's about it. I still haven't leveled to max. I've just been lazy. I constantly, every week after I do the time quest, I just turn the game off. I don't even save my game. So that's what's been happening. Um, anyway, let's get on it. Uh, let us go down to the Koshery Plains. Koshery Plains? Uh, where are they? I should know this. There they are. Rip. So it's pretty much down around about here. That's where the first time quest was actually. So it'll be around about that place. Can we... Yeah, I guess we'll go... God damn it. I always do that. Uh, I guess we'll go around about there. Rip. Yes. Anyway. Um, I've been missing out on chat. Hello, Jackie M. How are you doing? Uh, Cripple86, will I play through more of Assassin's Creed? I'm not really sure at the moment, mate. I've been talking about this. I talked about this on another stream, but I didn't expect the game to be so very long. It's actually a really, really long game. I've quite enjoyed it, but the way the game's structured, by the end of the game, you're pretty much, well, me personally, I was like, I don't feel the combat system's deep enough and the missions are fairly samey. So by the end of it, I was just kind of like, oh man, I'm like, it kind of burnt out on it. So I don't really know what I'm doing in regards to that, mate. I really don't. Um, yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do with Assassin's Creed. Uh, I will be covering the patches and stuff like that. But as far as actual playthrough of it, I, I doubt I will be doing it. Um, yeah. I'm going to start doing in the future, instead of doing like an episode one, if it's a game I don't really know how much I'm going to cover, I'm going to start doing um, like first look things rather than committing to a playthrough because I think my focus should be on guides rather than uh, live streaming at the moment, especially with my, uh, especially with my um, routine at the moment is completely up the, up the wall. 
Um... <laughs> Rhea Roberts, the new trophies tanked your percentage, yeah. Well, luckily, luckily only you can see it, Rhea. It's not a, a really public thing. Oh, it's raining too. That's a nice... Oh, it's a bit late, actually. I might actually... Uh, is there a campsite around? Yeah, we'll go to the campsite first. I'll have a bit of a schnooze um, before we get going. Just so it's not dark as hell while we're playing. Uh, nobody wants to take care of that CJ fuckface. Hey, CJ, you're a wanker, mate. You're a wanker. There you go. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go to camp. <clears throat> Man, uh, Saturday morning really brings out the fuckwits, doesn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, block. See you later, fuckface. Yeah, I'm swearing heaps, but... Oh, man. Why do people have to be such jerks? Anyway. Uh, sorry for my potty mouth, people. Um, yeah. Uh, reverse up here. Oh, get the crap out. I've been having... I don't know what... I think it was my really... It's my own fault. Uh, my really, really, really terrible playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn, but lately I have had to censor and I'm not really big on like, you know, blocking free speech and all, but I've had so many people coming onto the channel and just, just abusing the hell out of me. Luckily, um, the YouTube thing like catches a lot of it before it comes out, but it's not like just like, hey man, get better at playing games or something. It's just like, the most horrible fucking sh Sorry, I'm swearing again. The most horrible things people have been saying. I, I don't really know why, but I can only assume it's my terrible gameplay recently. But, you know, tell me I'm terrible. I don't care. But they're just saying all the most horrible stuff. So, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so I just wanted to make it morning. It's such a shame that you have to eat, like... Yeah, okay, granted, it's overnight, so you have to eat, but just wasting materials just because you want to speed up the time of the day. Yeah, well. I've noticed um, recently with the games I have been playing, they've all had photo modes in them. I wish Final Fantasy XV had um, a photo mode. I really do. Like a... It's so strange, actually they focus on one character being totally like a photo dude, but they don't have a uh, filled out, hey, looking good, Iggy. Um, they don't have a really filled out um, photo mode, which is really quite odd to me. Because the photo mode in Horizon Zero Dawn and uh, Assassin's Creed is far, far superior. So, yeah. Far superior. Everything in order. Yeah, buddy. Um, yeah, so my costume is just more for looks. I'm just village peopling it. Peopling it. It's not for the actual uh, um, stats or anything. Okay, we'll jump in the uh, regalia and then we'll head down to this time quest. Uh, how's the family, Jackie? Uh, the family's doing really well, uh, but my wife is pregnant at the moment, so there's a little bit... I posted on Twitter, I guess not a lot of people follow me on Twitter, uh, but um, I posted on Twitter my schedule has been a bit up the wall recently just because I am, um, my wife is pregnant and I have a small daughter and I've been back at work full time now. So uh, that's why the channel, you might have noticed as well, maybe you never noticed that the, uh, the quality was good, but... <laughs> just the consistency of my um, content has been really slipping lately. It's because I'm working all week and the wife and uh, child and all that. So, um, yeah, I think I have to refocus and... Um, wow, that is not a smooth ride. Um, and, yeah, you know, just change out the way that I handle things on the channel, I think. It should be right around here, right? Shouldn't it be right next to this... 
I thought it was right next to this. Nothing like me in me nowhere. Um, why isn't the time quest here? Shouldn't it be like right on me right now? Do 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 do. I think that's pretty much right where we are. No. Yeah. I thought you started. Oh, okay. It's not active. Usually it's already active. Oh. Oh, corals. Hello, coral. Wow, my. Sometimes the daggers, because their range is so, so, so short, it, um, you really can't hit enemies at all with it. Oh, it's a cactua. Hey, mate. How you doing? Feisty little devil. Um. All right, buddy. Okay, let's get into it. Um, how much is Comrade Expansions? It's twenty dollars in the US. You are, if you're considering buying any of the episodes, you are far better off getting the seasons pass. Way better off getting the season pass. Uh, let's do it. Whoa, what was that? Oh, quitting the game will get rid of unsubmitted scores. Undertake this time quest. We'll see how broken this leaderboard is too. Um, <laughs> yeah. I actually think they increased the price to kind of make it um, more in line with the uh, the um, season pass to like make the value of the season pass a little bit extra. See this... I've got the volume down really low because I don't really want to listen to the uh, the soundtrack. And I'll turn my headphones down a bit more. These things, these things are level 29. They're level 29. And they have just bulk, bulk HP. It just, it makes so little sense. Anyway, uh, we've got our enhancement. Um, Ignis is confuzzled though. I'll get this off in the meantime. Until Ignis is unconfuzzled. Boom! Take that, buddies. Is Ignis still confuzzled? No. Hopefully he gives us a yellow one. Buddy! We need the uh, the yellow enhancement so it sticks around a little bit longer. I'll beat a few more things up and get it back. Oh, take that. Don't die on me, buddy. Sometimes I wish the uh, hunt zones were a bit smaller, but then at the same time you end up leaving the hunt zones. So, uh, I don't know where I am on that one particularly. Okay, enhancement Iggy? No? Dudes? <laughs> totally worth it. Ignis. Ignis. Why... I don't understand why you can't get your techs off sometimes. It just refuses to do them. I don't really... I guess because they're locked in other... He's not going to give us a yellow, is he? Uh, I guess because they're locked in other animations or something, but it's quite frustrating sometimes. There we go. That'll do. This ought to give me an edge! Okay, I'll beat up a few things and get my uh, tech bar up, and then we'll switch to Armagur Accelerator, and then we'll... Uh, We'll start kicking ass. Pew, 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 pew. Actually, I don't know if there's anybody that's from uh, Brisbane or Queensland, Australia, watching the stream. But I will be at Comic-Con today. Um, no, wait, Comic-Con? Blah, I wish. Um, I'm going to be at Supernova today. In Brisbane at the convention center. Uh, I'll be pottering around for most of the day, so if you're there, um, just say hello. And I will ignore you like a a, a, uh, a massive celebrity that I am. Um, whatever, I don't I don't care about the magic too much. Okay. Oh, we don't even have armor gear. I gotta build it up. G'day Angelus Knight, how you doing? <clears throat> Twin dash mark. Are you going to the um, supernova, mate? Ooh, 
because I would say that if you're going there like purely for content, um, Supernova is is it's actually my first time I've been to Supernova. It's pretty much just a bunch of like markets and a lot of people signing signatures. There's not a whole lot to do there, which I didn't really realize that. Uh, I thought it was more going to be like uh, people showing off displays and really cool stuff. Um, but yeah. G'day, Geordie. My armager is building really slowly. I should probably put a ribbon on, actually, because this confusion is uh, ripping my gameplay right now. Um, yeah. Oh, dickhead. <laughs> I put the armager and the tech turbocharger. They cancel each other out. What a knob. Anyway, uh, that is where the problems come in. I was like, where is my armager bar? It should be full by now. Uh, what was I going to put on? I'll put on a ribbon. Put your hand up, there we go. No mercy! Is that better? Yeah, it's climbing up way faster now. Way faster. The The best thing about going to uh, Supernova actually is seeing all the cosplay. But otherwise, I don't know, I was fairly disappointed with the thingy. Because also I'm not a huge, huge comic book fan, I guess that's it. I was just hoping to see a little bit more game-related content, a little bit. Um, but yeah, otherwise. There we go. Oh, everything's too far away from me. They're all over the other section. God damn. Oh, well. Get him. That animation takes way too long. Oh, well, we got a couple at least, huh? Ah, yeah, that's a, that's a good way. If you're really going for a good, good time in this, I suppose you could put the ring on to reset your progress. I might actually... This is a bit too inefficient. I might actually make some magic while we're here. Um, would frost work well because it kind of freezes the air and stuff? Because these guys are flying. I know their uh, lightning is effective against them, but it doesn't really... The ground effect doesn't really stick around and hurt them. So I'm thinking maybe... Would Frost do a better job? Because it kind of freezes the air and stuff. I don't know. I know Lightning does. It's effective. But pretty much anything I do is going to do max damage. So it's not really... Um, damage isn't the... Uh, isn't the real consideration I have here. We'll try that out anyway. Uh, equip. Yes. Giddy. Like, the damage is always going to be good. I'm looking more at the lasting effect of it. Because I imagine flying enemies wouldn't be able to get hit by ground cover stuff, right? Oh, you guys are so lucky you can't hear the backing track right now. <laughs> Actually, I think my Elgato is not pumping out sound right now. I wonder why. Weird. I will take a power EX. I can't take it right now. Um, and then let's do this. Actually, that was really... Ah, don't do that, Noctis. It takes way too long to do that animation. So it's, you're far better if you don't press the triangle to uh, warp over to them. It's way more efficient without it, I believe. Yeah, Mr. Lull, how's your uh, how's your job going, mate? Are you uh, CEO yet? It's only it's been a couple of weeks, mate. Why can't I attack this? Oh, because I pff, fucking dickhead. I have uh, magic on. Um, I was like, why can't I attack? There's a Regali who's chilling out there. Can do we need a power EX? Yes. Uh, I gotta, I gotta play a lot more before comrades come out, just so I can get, like, unscrubby as I can, but. Masurama! Is that, I already forget how to say your name, Masurama. 
Um, I actually met um, Masurama at the um, Supernova yesterday. So he he's actually the first person I've ever met in real life from YouTube. So uh, thank you, mate. Thank you for coming up and saying hi. Oh, got a green, a uh, yellow one. The only problem is with Blizzard is it really messes with the AI or freeze. Uh, it really messes with the UI. It just makes it... Oh, it's over already. Already, it took like seven minutes to do that shit, so... I was saying to Masurama um, yesterday, I was like, man, it must be frustrating for... It must be frustrating for good YouTubers, like people that are actually good at Final Fantasy XV. Like, you know, totally optimized setup, just destroy the enemies and um, really take time to really... Inv like learn how to play Final Fantasy 15. It must be frustrating when they don't get as many subs or their channel growth isn't as big as mine, which isn't huge anyway, but I feel like I'm such a dirty scrub sometimes and I don't feel when it comes to Final Fantasy 15, my gameplay, it doesn't deserve the subs I get. So uh, my guides, yeah, but my actual gameplay, because I know there's quite a few other YouTubers out there that are way better at Final Fantasy 15 than me that just don't get the attention, which is, uh, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, let's have a look at the Time Quest rankings and see how broken it is today. I guess, I, a while ago I said I'm going to try and put a big, bigger effort into, uh, really... Holy shit, 105 seconds. Wow. That is crazy. That is craziness. Um, what was mine? Like 500 seconds? <laughs> Nearly. Wow, a top 100. 100. They're all jeebus. All right. Is that legit? I, I'm honestly asking the question. Is, it, is that like a legit time, we think? That's... Uh, that's doable, right? Like, I I don't really gauge myself as a good, like, oh, this is what an average player can do because I'm fucking trash. But, um, I don't know. Is that a good score? Like, is that a doable score? I don't know. They haven't added any new titles recently either. Hopefully they'll add some titles when Comrades comes out. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy with my 1, 2, 3, 4. Anyway, let's go manual. We're going to go to a diner. Uh, and we'll try and pick up some timed quests. Oh, sorry, some uh, hunts. And we'll see just how many we can pick up. Uh, I totally forgot how to put markers on this thing. Anyway, let's drive. Seatbelt, everyone! Yeah, well, um, Malame, it's... Oh, look at that shit! Uh, it's lucky that nobody choose. well, not everyone chooses to watch me based on skill, <laughs> otherwise I would have about negative four subscribers. Ah, oh, mate. That was like, that was like Krusty Demons the Dirt levels of jumping skills then, and it was just like, mate, that's, that's too good. That was, that jump was too good, so they had to cut it. <sighs> anyway, whatever. I, I like to think of myself as the everyman of Final Fantasy XV, you know? <clears throat> you can watch these elite players that have fantastic... Where's my jump? Oh, that's rigged. Um, that have fanta <laughs> fantastic gameplay, but I'm the realistic, um, spastic cousin of uh, gaming. I guess you could say. <laughs> Where are my big jumps? They're not happening. Anyway, um, let's us head. We'll go a little bit east. We'll go to a diner and just see how many hunts we can undertake. I am so happy they made this change of taking multiple hunts, really. Um, FFAN, hello. FFAN does actually have a Final Fantasy channel as well, so you can check her out. Um, what was I going to say? What this patch has brought is it updated the trophy list for the comrades, and also it has... 
What the f- God, ah, oh, god damn it. Um, also, it has changed the, uh, the fact that you can now accept multiple hunts. You can't, it's not just a matter of taking one hunt, doing it, coming back, taking another one. So, we'll see now we can actually take multiple hunts. Also, you guys don't have sound at the moment. I wish you did. Um, just give me a sec. I'll see if I can fix the sound. Configure video? I don't think I can do it. Oh, with Anal, that's why. Uh, get rid of that. Just give me a second. This will just take a second to reboot here. Bling. There you go. Uh, should be sound now. Um, I'll drive around for a second. No, actually, I'll pick up the quest first. <laughs> God damn it, Noctis. I was just about to say, at that exact point that Noctis started laughing, I was going to say, they've taken out that laugh of Noctis. That whole time I was just um, driving across, he didn't go. <laughs> so um, yeah, maybe they reduce the amount of times he actually says that, which would be goddamn awesome. Man, rip Justice Monsters Five. You know that was out on the mobile for a while. We had it here in Australia for maybe three months or so. It wasn't great, but it was far better than the version in game. Okay. Welcome to the crow's nest. Welcome to the crow's nest. So are we ready for a feast? Yeah, mate. What can I tell you about? Um. Ooh. Okay. Give me treasure. Uh. Let's go hunts. It's quite an intimidating lineup. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me to do this. <laughs> we go to a place where I can only accept one hunt. What a mad hunt. We anyway, have a target. Um, I actually, I purposely muted the sound before because god damn those hunt, that right hunt then. music man, it I is, it all goes off a hitch. ugh, I know my voice may not be better than the music, no, I will say it is better, but just hearing that hunt music, that Afrojack song over and over and over and over again, god damn, god damn it. Okay, let's get in our type D, get in the Dizzle. And uh, we'll try to get some more hunts. Hopefully I can actually show you guys that we can get multiple hunts. Uh, let's get a map point. Kabling. Oh. Oh, you fucker. Everything in order. Yep. Um, plan C. Do I plan on playing Not A Hero End Of Zoe DLC for Resident Evil 7? Yeah, I do, mate. I, Ignis, for people that don't know, I actually Seven. really really like Resident Evil 7. I get a playthrough on the channel, um, so I plan to be doing the DLC, but we'll see how everything goes with scheduling and everything like that. Come on, I, I can't even... Speaking of crappy people at the game, I can't even drive to my bloody destination. Um, Mesoma, am I going to Supernova again today, tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm, pr I'm most likely going today. And probably tomorrow as well, just in case I run into anyone. I I want to feed my ego. I want to meet somebody again. So, <laughs> g'day, Blue Laguna. How you doing? Hey, who's up for a bite? <clears throat> but yeah, I will be playing Resident Evil Seven. I I love that game. Good I really do. Really Nobody cool watched it on the channel. I think like most of them got about 200 views or something. Okay. So, God, really, in. this is even a diner. I am the yeah. best at this game, the absolute best. Where is another quest? I don't even think I'm going to be able to show you people um, multiple quests. Where's someone that just has an absolute buttload of uh, time quests? I think I might have done all the ones. We'll try Vernus Mart. We'll try Verna Smart. If not, we'll just accept old hunts and then uh, be happy with that. You're an old hunt, mate. Um, we'll see it. We need Mad... What, what? Mad Kent in the chat right now for my hunt jokes. Oh, yeah. Also, um, Breno Borg, Borges? Borgs? Um, the two fish... The two fish that were added in one patch, you might have noticed if you had a fi full um, fish list, there was two that you couldn't get. Uh, that was actually 
a um a bug they weren't meant to add those two fish so they have removed those two fish until a later date when they can actually officially add it to the game but it was a bug they weren't meant to be there i'll oh, see you later ffan good to see ya um alisa sorry what what question did you ask I, I must have missed what you asked before. Uh, come on, loading times. I hope they implement a patch that incre or improves on loading times would be um, nice. It would be really nice. Even on the PS4 Pro, they're pretty pretty trashy, I think. Aurora Void Gear. I actually did the um, the Dogged Rider on um, or the Dogged Rider on uh, stream. I didn't think I would. I actually got the fir the second two on my first attempt. So odd, man. I really Welcome didn't think boys. I would. But looks like you could use a good meal. <laughs> Joe Clark, keep loading, loading, loading. Bit of Limp Biscuit action. The well, it seems like I've done. Anyway, we've already got one quest, but we can pick up another one. Currently active, one, you see there. This one, then. This one, then. Yeah, buddy. Just give it to me. Uh, and then we can also pick up this one, which is hella good. I it's wonder when two quests are overlapping, I wonder how they handle that. Uh, King X100, yeah, I've got it on disc. I don't know whether it loads faster if it's on digital or not, but I don't really know. This one, then. There you go, we've accepted, um, what's that, four hunts? Stay safe, you hear? Stay safe, you hear? Uh, I'm actually going to go around, oh, I'm going to do a bit more loading just because I love that loading screen. I'm going to try and see, I'm actually going to test how many... Um, does that actually have quests or not? I guess it says it's a diner on the thing, really. Uh, I'm gonna test how many we can actually pick up, if I can even achieve that. I know the, uh, the diner at the start, the Hammerhead, has a uh, decent amount of quests, so... Uh, we'll go there. There we go. Yes. Uh, Mistol, will I play the multiplayer story for Comrades first or the single player story? More than likely the single player story, but it it also depends on um, it depends on what the multiplayer is like. If the matchmaking is terrible, like if it's as bad as the online test, then yeah, mul multiplayer is just not going to work. I might do separate streams where I do specifically multiplayer. I, I just have to see how it goes, really. Yeah. Yeah, actually, Aurora, that's a good question. Does anybody have an Xbox One X? Have they tried it with the new patch? Because I know the patch is out. Is it improved? Is it is it good? Is it better? Can you notice a difference? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. I, did, I yeah, interesting. I want to watch a breakdown on the differences, the frame rate distances and stuff. But I've been trying to avoid frame rate videos and performance comparison videos lately because I feel sometimes they point out problems that you don't even really know exist. Like for an average player, I would imagine if you don't get too technical and you don't know the difference between 60 and 30 FPS and stuff like that, um, getting caught up in that whole like technical aspect of it when you don't need to can actually take your enjoyment out of the game to a certain extent so sometimes it's actually better to remain ignorant to it especially if you don't have the money to buy if you have multiple systems then yeah it's, it's a good idea to see what it runs best on but if you've only got the one then you're only gonna like point out faults that you don't really want to be seeing anyway okay this should be a good place we'll try and accept all of these and we'll see what happens so we got five now. Much obliged. Much obliged. Ah, you son of a bitch. These nasties here have been a real pain oh. in the rear. Ah, Alisa, I, I'm 
basically done with uh, Dragon's Dogma. I'm considering doing maybe a stream in a while to like catch up with people's pawns and stuff like that, but as far as like a regular covering of it goes, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much done. I, I don't... I know there's other quests and um, stuff I can do with it, it's just I honestly don't have that much interest in it now. I've played that game a lot, like a lot, so yeah. But, um, Alisa, if you don't already see Anamana Juby, um, you should check him out. Actually, I'll type his name in chat. Anna Mana Juby is still playing it, but again, also he's coming to the type of the end of his cycle with it. So, so we're about to pick up our tenth hunt. We'll see. I think ten is the limit, Appreciate but um, yeah. I haven't done, I've done nearly no hunts, mate. I, you cannot join any more hunts at this time. I bought all hunts from other tipsters and joined this one. There you go. So 10 is the max now for time, uh, for hunts. I've actually not been doing hunts because it frustrated me so much that you could only pick up one and then you have to do it, come back, grab another one. The loading times in between, like what you just saw, me going around the different diners, frustrated the hell out of me Make so sure this is definitely going to be a good incentive for us to uh well for me personally to uh actually do the hunts now i actually plan on doing them um before it was just i couldn't understand why they would only let you pick up one like it should have been a function from the very from the start yep. you know won't keep you in the dark Oh, that's ages away. 0.64 miles. It's weird that it's still miles, but anyway. I thought it'd be kilometers. Oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, but basically, that's pretty much what I wanted to... Yeah, we did the time quest. We had a look at a few things from the patch. I might make it a separate video just going over these changes, just in case people don't really like the, um, the whole format of live streams, but... Otherwise, uh, has anyone, does anyone know, um, any other things that we can check out with this patch that I may not have mentioned or anything like that? Uh, I don't think we really got anything new. As far as DLC goes, I'll have a quick look in the PlayStation Store. I'll see if there was any, like, new little things added to it, but, um... F -f 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 oh, also, I picked up... I'll show you guys this on stream, I guess. I don't think I've shown it before, but uh, I'll show you guys now. Because you're all Final Fantasy fans, this is a good way to check it out. Um, Fevezix, Fevezix, Monster of the Deep. Uh, doesn't actually, we'll see. If there's 22 add-ons, there's nothing new. Yeah, 22 add-ons, nothing new added to the store yet, which, yeah. Oh well. Um, yeah, I picked this up. I managed to pick up... Uh, I'll put my camera up so I can see what I'm actually doing. Managed to pick up Wachang World of Final Fantasy. I got the limited edition for only like 20 Australian dollars, I think it was, a roundabout. Which is awesome because it actually comes with a, uh, a little... The actual game case is a book, which is awesome. Like in the back... In the back here, you have the disc, and then uh, through here is like an artwork book. So that's cool, man. I picked up for like 20, 20 Australian dollars. So like what, 15 American dollars, around about that. Awesome. So I plan on playing this at some point. I don't know when. I've got a huge backlog of games. I still need to play like Secret of Mana and a few other ones. But yeah, I picked up that. But there's no, no new add-ons for the game as well. And also, while we're talking like other Final Fantasy stuff I picked up, I went down to my local EB game store, which is uh, GameStop for you Americans and EB for you Canadians. Uh, and I picked up this, um, a Final Fantasy Trading Arts Mini, which is cool, a little, little box thing here. It's, there's a possibility of getting Wait, I'll try and I'm pretty bad with my camera of getting all these guys. And I was like, oh man, I'd really like to get like uh, Sephiroth or Cloud. And I don't know where he is. 
Did I lose him? I had Cloud on my desk here. I actually managed to get Cloud. But I've lost him. <gasps> my god. Man, I knocked it off my desk. Oh well. That shows how well prepared I am, doesn't it? It's gone. I think my daughter probably ate it or something. <laughs> I think my daughter's taken it off my desk. Oh no, there it is. Good stuff. I actually managed to get Cloud, which is good. Hey, FFAN's there. Hello, FFAN. Um, yeah, I managed to get Cloud, which he comes in this little tiny pack thing. There's him beheaded. <laughs> and you get... How friggin' cute is this? Um, this is... You actually get... <laughs> It is so awesome. Uh, his tiny little buster sword with his body attached to it. But that is, is his buster sword, which is amazing. It's so, it's so goddamn cute. Hey, Masurama, you found a Noctis figurine at Supernova. I didn't see any Noctis figurines. Was it a fan-made one? And there you go. We've got a little cloud there. Look at him. He's kind of clipping because of my uh, my chroma key, but anyway. Um, yeah, the lightning figure would have been cool too, but yeah. Anyway, now that I've wasted your time with that junk, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream here, roundabout. Uh, Geordie Wolf, yeah, my PS4 background is from Neo, from getting the season's pass for Neo. Um, yeah. Anyway... Uh, thank you guys very much for stopping by the stream. I might release another video doing a little bit more of a formal review of uh, patch 1.17. But next week, next Wednesday or Tuesday, uh, on the 15th of, of November, Comrades, the Final Fantasy 15 multiplayer expansion will be out. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you haven't hit that notifications button, the little bell with the little dingly things on the outside, Make sure you do, because I'm going to be doing heaps of stuff on the channel with it. I hope I hope they've fixed the problems, and I hope it's an enjoyable experience. Um, and depending on how good the multiplayer is, we'll tackle some multiplayer as well. Um, yeah, priorities to the, the Moogles for their loyalty. But uh, otherwise, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how all that one goes. I'll be at work, though, when it releases, so I won't be able to go live when it goes live, but... Oh well, because I took the day off last week for it and it didn't come out, but yeah. Anyway, um, I hope everyone is good and thank you very much for your support. I'm sorry if the channel's a bit inconsistent at the moment. I've just, I'm trying to deal work, family and streaming life all together. So yeah, I hope you guys stick with me. Anyway, um, if you like this video or this stream, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then leave them down below. And if you're at the Supernova this weekend and you see me, come up and say hi. Uh, I'll be wearing a Gurr shirt from uh, Invader Zim or a, um, a Black Soldier shirt from Final Fantasy VII. So uh, if you see me, come and say hi. Otherwise, um, if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so and I will see you next time. Uh, this has been Lemon Eating cow. Uh, moo. See you guys.